Sorry. Sorry about that. Welcome back my horror friends. Yes, sorry I'm a little, uh, admittedly a little disheveled, discombobulated, and a little unfocused. But I've been marinating in excitement the last couple weeks. A lot going on, watching a lot of cool films. Um, of course excited about this, this new episode here. And something else really cool is going on that I'm really excited about. That I'll tell you guys about right now before we get things started. A cool event I'm going to be a part of, a horror related event. Which is coming up in July. I figured I'd tell you some of you guys about it. Just in case any of you would be interested in attending this awesome event, it will be held in uh, Buffalo, New York on Friday, July 20th. Basically for all you, obviously your horror fans watching me now, but if you're into the heavy metal music, the heavier side of music, um, really cool show. Um, again, Friday, July 20th. Very unique event combining horror and, and a heavy metal show. Really three awesome reasons why, if you can make it, if you're in distance, to uh, make the drive out, um, that would be worth your while to attend. Number one, you get to see me, the headbanger, rocking you on stage with my band, Where She Wept. Uh, number two, we'll be getting the stage warm right after us. Um, Ari Lehman, who, uh, in case you don't know that name, which you probably do, he is uh, the infamous first Jason, played the first Jason Voorhees at the very end there. Of course, it's just one, one little scene, but as far as I'm concerned, one of the greatest scenes in horror film history. His band, called First Jason, um, will be performing that evening, right after we play. Um, in case you've never seen never seen him play or footage of them play, just type it in YouTube. I won't give anything away. It's, they're a fucking riot. Awesome. Really cool dude. Met him a few times. Um, and the third reason is for you indie horror fans. You know I'm a big fan. She is my future wife. Indie horror icon Rain Brown will be hosting the festivities. You're going to meet her, hang out with her. And uh, so it's a really cool, unique event, combining horror and metal. Um, there will be a few vendors there. The cool thing is this is a really small, intimate venue. It's not a big place at all. So it be really unique, but a great time. Um, you know, we're close. I'd say if you're in, if you're down for a good summer road trip um, in surrounding areas, Pennsylvania, Ohio, uh, New Jersey, New York, of course. Um, you know, we're three hours from Cleveland, Pittsburgh, you know, six hours from Philly, New Jersey. So, I mean, if you're down for a cool road trip, you live somewhere in that area, um, definitely highly I encourage you guys to come out and have a blast. Horror combined with metal. Uh, my band, Ari Lehman, Rain, the great Rain Brown, should be an awesome time. Of course, those of you who won't make it, I'll, of course, be uh, getting some good fit, footage and documenting it uh, for our future Horror Ball episodes. So, really excited about that. going to be an awesome night. And uh, if you want any information, any other information about it, um, there's advanced tickets available. If you have any other questions and you're interested in maybe um, making the drive out, just PM me. I'll give you all the information you need. I'll put a link in the bottom too. Uh, this episode, really excited. Um, going to have a film fest for you. Me and my buddy 26, who you met in season opener, season premiere. Um, his name is Mike. We call him 26. Uh, recently, we held, we held a film fest together. The um, reason why I want to share this with you guys is because it's kind of special because we used to hang out all the time. You know, once a week at least back in the day watching films. Unfortunately, due to our schedule, our work schedules, we can't really do that anymore, so we don't get to hang out um, nearly as much as we'd like to, and really not often at all. So uh, his birthday just was coming up, so we decided to plan a cool little three-day film fest. We took a couple days off of work to accommodate things, and uh, it was a Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. A lot of fun. We did nine films in three nights. The first night was a Thursday. He chose three films. The following night, Friday, I chose three films, and the final day, Saturday, uh, we kind of collaborated and picked three films. Starting at 8 o'clock every night, had a head headliner at midnight. It was a great time, a lot of great beer. Um, Mrs. Hembanger was there as well. So I uh, just wanted to share with you guys, it was a blast. Uh, get your thoughts on the films that we watched, your opinions on them. And within that film fest, we had I will we filmed uh, the final brand new segment that I will debuting for you guys for season two to go along with all the other new ones. Let me know what you think about that one. Give me some feedback. So it was just a blast. I wanted to share with you guys. I know you guys do stuff like this all the time and I really enjoy watching stuff like that. And uh, give me some feedback. Hope you enjoy it. 
Uh, part two of the show will start with that brand new segment. And um, see you back in a bit. Hope you enjoy it. 26th birthday horror film fest. Check it out. guys this is a special uh, beer version of the table here the first time we've ever done this we are here at 26's house for the night one of the our film fest here and uh, I won't take long here for you people who for the non beer drinkers or people that have quit drinking I don't want to bore you too much here but those of you who are fans of beer will appreciate this we got some awesome beers for the occasion of course we'll start with this one Hoppin Frog IPA Hoppin to Heaven a really good company makes some awesome beers so we got the IPA we got this one look at this one Terrible from our fine French Canadian friends up in uh, Quebec looking forward to that one very dark this one Rasputin Crazy J and Jason Schneeberger can attest to the, uh, the effects of this Chars look at this bottle we got from the Avery Brewing Company, Mephistopheles. Mephistopheles. There's uh, Miss Hebbinger correcting me. <laughs> Look at that bottle. Tough. Look at that. It's all... Cool thing about this one, okay, this is just a regular 12 ounce bottle. I won't tell you guys what 26 spent on this. Look at this, here's the key for this one. If you guys probably can't see, it's blurry. 16% in just this little bottle. That's so, scary. uh. We are going to get messed up on that one. I think we'll do shots. This one, 26 is not had yet. This is Yeti. So all my friends at Cinema Wasteland, Cleveland, Dave, Jason. We remember how great this uh, shit colored beer was. Looking forward to that. And we have, uh, I've not yet had this Belgian beer, Chimay, Chimay. Who knows? Basinger, Passenger. I'm not sure how to say that. And this is the, the classic here, the headliner. This is the most I've ever spent on one bottle of beer. This is by the Great Firestone Company. They put out a bottle once a year. This is their 15th anniversary, so they've done it for 15 years. And it's a blend of many beers in one. This one is a blend of... How many beers we got on there? Oh Here's what's crazy. Let me see this. This comes with a sheet, people. Okay. Eight beers are blended in this one bottle it's been aged for well over a year and they actually give you look at this they give you a certificate on nice paper feel okay. and um yeah they just explain they go through everything explain uh, each beer that's been put in here what each beer is about how much percentage of each beer goes in and just in case any of you out there ever buy this if any of you are allergic to fuggles, fuggles please do not drink this 100% U.S. grown fuggles. Yeah, U.S. I guess if you if you're able to have foreign fuggles, you'll be okay. But this has 100% so U.S. grown this fuggles. This has double the fuggles. So please, if you are allergic to fuggles, please don't have this. But if you are, go to let's go to town. So we're looking forward to having this. Probably have it Saturday night. And uh, so that's the uh, fine array of quality beers we have here on the beer version of the table. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Later. All right, everyone, we are here, uh, evening number one of our film fest, and uh, we have a cat. I don't even know. What's this cat's name again? Domino. 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 I have Domino. You can go for Domino. <laughs> Pizza. All right, so three movies each night. Night one, these are films that uh, 26, who's manning the camera right now. You can say hello if you want. Hello. <laughs> and uh, he picked these three films uh, tomorrow night, Friday, are three films that I picked, and then Saturday... We were gonna, um, so we just came together in agreement on three films. So, um, first one we watch this evening will be an 80s, barely an 80s, 1980 creature feature, Alligator by Louis Teague. I love, I love creature features. Me too. We all do, I think. My and um, seeing the, seeing something like this, it's just old practical effects with all the. They make these films so often now with CGI, especially the sci-fi channel which just does it constantly but so excited to see this um just a killer croc on the loose in the city is it new york city i believe it, it is some city la maybe might be yeah it might be a western so city. some city gets terrorized by this cool uh um massive 
practical, practically practical effects <laughs> alligator. So looking forward to that. Um, so a good choice because I've always wanted to see this movie. I've seen like, I've literally watched bits of it on YouTube like 20 minutes at a time, but I've never really seen it in its entirety. There's a cool hard box of this film. Several covers actually, so cool. Looking forward to that. And then after that, we're going to watch, uh, don't laugh you people. Some of you probably will. Some of you are probably going to be like, yeah. Evil Bong 3D. The trilogy is finally complete. <laughs> um, we are big fans of this. Uh, I'm going to say this. For the record, I'm only speaking for myself because I do not smoke. But you, don't, you do not have to be under the influence to appreciate these films. Some people may think that you do. Won't I'm sure it names. doesn't hurt. But, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> exact good way to put it. It doesn't hurt, but and it may enhance it a bit. But like I said, I love this film. These films this is the third one. We've yet to see this. I think the first one's the best. You know, some of you are probably laughing at that, like I'm seriously saying that the first <laughs> one's the best, but it really is. It's really funny, good cast, just a lot of fun, and uh, definitely one of my favorite uh, Full Moon uh, productions. And uh, looking forward to this 3D. Comes with the glasses, which we're going to wear. And scratch and sniff. Uh, <laughs> scratch and yeah. sniff what? No way. Yeah, there's scratch, scratch and, and sniff. sniff cards. You didn't. Oh, sniff shit. around. <laughs> definitely going to have to buy this. Scratch and sniff. wonder what it smells like. I didn't try it. <laughs> so, yeah, looking forward to this. Cool package. And uh, we were just saying how I wish that they released this in a bong style where you open it up and look at the DVD. That'd be awesome. Maybe they will someday. But Evil Bong, we're a little disappointed that the, uh, or at least I am, that the nerdy guy in this, if you've seen this, they should have got the guy from the first one. But he probably went on to bigger and better things. <laughs> and the headliner, which we'll watch at midnight each night, we'll watch a headliner. And this is... Uh, 2012, we're big fans of the original, as many of you probably are. Wicker Man, this is the what, sequel of 20 years later, The mm -hmm. Wicker Tree. And this does have an appearance, I'll say an appearance because it's probably a short by, by the great Christopher Lee. Uh, but I don't know what to think about this one. I am expect I have very low expectations, I think understandably. Hopefully we'll be pleasantly surprised. Yeah, I don't you know, know what I'm expecting it to suck, but it hopefully it doesn't. <laughs> And because uh, it comes with a great slipcover too, and it's put out by Anchor Bay, which doesn't really put out horror that much anymore. Um, Mike, what do you think? Are you expecting this to blow? Yeah, I kind of do. <laughs> I hope I'm wrong. Yeah, though. we hope we're we go in every movie hoping it's great, but uh, and it's got a uh, honeysuckle weeks in it. I just oh. noticed. Interesting. That is someone's name. You know who that is, Mike? I don't know who that honeysuckle is. Honeysuckle weeks. Hmm. Um, I assume he would only take roles that in good films. I didn't know it's a he. I'd like um, to add that my personal right. <laughs> advice for uh, going into any movie is to always keep expectations yeah. low. You'll yeah. never be disappointed. Exactly. <laughs> low, especially with porn. Um, Honey Suckle Weeks, if anyone knows who that is, are they a male or female? I don't know. Is that? I'm guessing that's a female. I'm going to hope that's a female. I hope they're hot, the too, guy. with a name like that. Yeah, Honey you better Suckle be Weeks. hot with a name like that. All right, so Wicker Tree, looking male forward to it. <laughs> no. Yeah, and it is from the same... Well, so, yeah, it's from the same makers as, as right. uh, the original. Wicker I don't know Man. if that's like actual director, Robin Hardy. It's the, yeah, it's it the is same the one. actual director. Someone encouraging. So we'll yeah, see. So. Looking forward to this a lot. So we'll let you guys know tomorrow how we f um, felt about some of these. And uh, we're going to get to it and start drinking this crazy beer and get drunk and have fun. And uh, you're going to drink some High Life. I am. That's my crazy beer. That's her beer. So we <laughs> spent all this money, Mike and I, on this beer, and she's fine with the $4 High Life. High Life. <laughs> all right. See you later. All right, here's the Yeti. Watch right, this. Right, guys, we're starting the film fest. We're gonna have a little cheers here, and this is 26 has not yet experienced the Yeti, not in liquid form anyway. I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah, when he was a child, he had a confrontation with a big. I'm just kidding. <laughs> squatch. Squatch. I'm jealous. That was a squatch. I want to see a squatch. <laughs> it's, it's a traumatic event. We don't want to talk about it. You can look back at it now and laugh, but all right. I'll, Mike, check this out. Let me see this pour. The, the glass isn't good because you don't get to see the, the shit, but you got to see this come out. Oh. Fucking motor oil. Yeah. Jason and Dave can remember this, the horrifying experience of seeing Yeti poured for the first time. <laughs> Looks like chocolate milk, but doesn't taste like it. Oh, my God. If only. <laughs> All right, so I don't know if this will be an annual thing, but... Happy birthday to 26. Cheers. Yay, happy birthday. 26th birthday film fest, Yeti. Cheers, everybody. Yeti. We're going to go watch some horror films. <laughs> Good morning, horror friends. This is day two of our film fest. 
uh, late at night, actually on our way to breakfast, and I'm pulling uh, Beyond the Realms here, Jason style, uh, in the car, just more so because we have to, we have a lot to do today, so I wanted to get this in, I just wanted to quickly talk about the films we watched last night, uh, first off, Alligator from 1980, again, I had seen like chunks of this in the past, but not in its entirety, and man, we were both way by it. I gotta call it one of my favorite uh, creature features, which is a subgenre I love of all time. Uh, it just completely pisses on CGI. Amazing practical effects. And I'll say this, one scene in particular, I'm not exaggerating here. Uh, it's not the beer that's inside me right now talking. Um, it has one of the best, greatest individual scenes, I think, in horror film history. One of them. It's For those of you that have seen it, I'll just say the wedding scene. Uh, wasn't that amazing? Yes. Awesome. I mean, the scene is the, the effects, the gore, uh, just the extremity of it. It's just an amazing scene. Do we want to spoil it? No, that's all I'll say. Okay. I'll just say the wedding scene. I, I'm sure I'll talk about this film down the road on a segment because it's just so awesome. They actually did make a sequel with a different director that I need to get. But for any of you who don't have Alligator yet and you're a fan of creature features, it's just a must. It's one of the best ever. Uh, Robert Forrester is awesome in it. Anyway. It's a great time with that one. Evil Bong 3D, really cool as I showed having the, the old school 3D glasses. I was a little buzzed when I was dropping the F-bombs during that, but uh, I apologize. Uh, it was cool, they had a scratch and sniff that like thing gross. with it, where a, a number would come on the screen and then you scratch the number on the card that, that came with the box set and then you sniff it and it had a, in most cases, a horrible smell, but that was really awesome. Just totally old school. 3D glasses, smell of vision, whatever you're gonna call it. A lot of fun. Definitely recommend that box set from uh, Full Moon website if, if it's still available. I need to pick one up. Uh, so just fun. Evil Bong 3D is exactly what you expect. Nothing worse, nothing better. I still think the first one is definitely the best one. Uh, but yeah, a lot of fun. Similar, same, pretty much the same cast. Can't go wrong with those films. That was fun. Then finally we watched at midnight The Wicker Tree. The uh, Re, not to remake the sequel to the original Wicker Man. We had low expectations, and honestly, they met those low expectations. It overall was a pretty bad film. I think it had potential. They did the slow burn build up, of course. Um, I didn't mind the story, but ultimately, the last half hour, which you fell asleep mm -hmm. during, which is unfortunate. It was that was the best part of the movie was the last half hour. But even so, they the payoff didn't didn't come through. It wasn't executed very well. I like what they tried to do. They just didn't. Ultimately, they didn't show enough of it, and uh, all in all, it was a pretty bad film, unfortunately. And Christopher Lee was actually in it for we had a, a minute. We bet on over under of how long he would be in it. We expected it to be very short, and I actually won. It was like what a minute five. One no, one minute, one minute exactly. exactly. He was in one scene, so pretty lame. But yeah, overall, not a very good film. Disappointing. Uh, so definitely a bad entry to this year's horror. But uh, overall, good night. We were two for three. A lot of fun. I think Alligator was definitely the highlight. So uh, we're on our way to get some grub, and we'll talk to you later. I'll let you know what we're watching for evening number two for the film fest. See you later, guys. Later. All right, everyone. Welcome back. This We are at uh, evening number two for our film fest here. And as you can see, I'm joined by a very special guest. Musician, actress, aspiring filmmaker, which will always be my little headbanger. Little headbanger. Hi. This must be a... Hey, this must be a thrill for you, joining sure. me on the actual set together. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, okay, we're going to, tonight's lineup, actually first, by the way, um, for those of you who don't know, I've said it before, she is making her first ever film this summer, in a month or so, called Zombie Kids. Zombie Kids, the so, movie. The movie, so please, uh, she has a channel, I'll put the link once again below, and give her some, some subscription love. And uh, subscribe to her channel, support that. She'll put updates as we go through the process of making it. And uh, she also you know, puts other videos on there. So give her some sub love. Check that out again. I'll put the link below. So tonight's films are first up, number one. These are my picks again. Um, doing some VHS goodness here. This is one I picked up at uh, Cinema Wasteland. Dear God, no, you will not be watching this. I don't even know what that is. Um, a little exploitation indie goodness there. I got the VHS tape and sitting on this for a while, saving it for uh, this weekend, so I'm excited to watch this. And uh, we'll have everyone join us for this film. She I just recently showed her a film we love here, Laid to Rest. What did you think of that movie? I liked it. I liked the characters. They were funny. Gore? 
Awesome. Awesome Gar. She loved that. Chrome Skull Cold Killer. So we're going to be watching Chrome Skull Laid to Rest 2. Um, so I'm so excited to show her that. She'll join us for that. 26 hasn't seen this yet. Uh, Mrs. Headbanger has. She loves it as well. So uh, love this film. Love this franchise. So look forward to checking that out. Number two. And then the third one will be a British Zomedy, which is a Zombie comedy. Zombie comedy. That's Deadhead. It's brand new in 2012. Looking forward to that. Looks good. Heard, heard good things. That'll be the headliner at midnight. It's uh, day number two. So uh, give me some feedback, guys, on all these films that we're choosing to watch for this film fest. Let me know your thoughts on them, if you've seen them or not. And coming up next, part two, stick around. The final debut of a new segment here for season two. The final new segment to be debuted. A very special one. Check it out. Stick around. That'll, that'll be basically... Um, all of part two. Stick around for that. Let me know. Give me your feedback on it. Let me know if you dig it. And uh, thanks for watching. Thank you. Let's go watch some movies. Well, a movie for you. A movie. So, later.